Hello everybody, Alex here with a LEGO video. This one centered around trains. As you can see in front of you here, these are three LEGO mock trains that I have built thus far. Not a lot, obviously, but I'm hoping to change that. Started out with these uh, steam-styled engines, a, a smaller one here, and kind of a medium-scale steam engine here. Then I tried my luck with a diesel electric. This right here was the result, and this has been working wonderfully. I've really enjoyed having this in my collection. And I wanted to continue the diesel electric, but instead of having it um, adaptable with the 9-volt, modern 9-volt motor, I tried my luck with making a train engine based upon the uh, power functions. And this is the result. All right, now to get me started on this one, I, I wanted it to be a black uh, engine. Now, that meant finding a black base, and I wanted to have the 28 stud long base. Now, those are very expensive, and uh, so I decided to just kind of see what I had around my city. I found a dark gray one acting as the roof of a movie theater on the city hall, or not the city hall, the city plan set. So I took that off, and I thought it would be uh, better used as a train engine base. So I did that. Now, this is the 28 stud. This is actually a 24 stud, so you can kind of see the, the difference there in length. So I went off of that, and I said, ah, heck, I'll just uh, use a, a dark gray base. I'll make it work with the color scheme. And obviously, I'm using the yellow stripe here. This is all uh, Lego elements making all the way through here uh, to the other side. So let's take a look here to move these other trains away a little bit. And what the dead giveaway on this as a uh, power functions train is you see the receiver, the IR receiver, sticking out just a little bit right there in the middle of the train. And we'll get to the uh, innards part here in a soon. So I went through uh, some... Uh, videos online through YouTube and saw uh, Lego trains and real trains and I kind of like that that look of um, kind of a truck look in the front so I did that and I started with the front here and worked my way back. And now let's kind of look at the functionality or at least how it opens up and that you can interact with it. Um, the cabin does open up just as slide out just like many other trains uh, do that are real sets. I did my best to create an actual um, interior control room and here's the controls with the valves and so forth they just kind of stick on there with some uh, technic elements and there's the seat there for the engine here this part does slide off it doesn't attach to anything these are just uh, plate elements or tile elements and that allows me to get to the IR receiver and change the frequency if needed and the very back opens up in this larger section to reveal the uh, actually that's not supposed to come off but it did there oh well uh, but that reveals the uh, the actual motor itself, or the power box, and that slides out quite easily like that. And I just put some fresh batteries in this new thing, and so we're going to see how powerful this thing is. Um, also, what's really cool about this is I purchased um, not one, but two of these motors. So this thing is uh, all-wheel drive, so this thing should have some good torque and muscle behind it. And we're going to test that uh, here in a little bit. So let me put this thing back together. And I'll show you the bottom here. Bottom was kind of a challenge because you know you have to accommodate the wires that go in there. So um, what I ended up doing was getting one of these, uh, um, I don't know what they're called, but you can kind of see what it is there. I just kind of built around it with these uh, tanks. And yeah, for the most part, it looks pretty good on the side. So that is what I did on the bottom there with those tanks and that is my newest train mock. It's, um, I want it to be super huge, but it ended up being pretty similar size to uh, this train engine. If you can see how long it is. Height-wise, it's about the same. Um, obviously, the, uh, the front of it's going to be very different. A different style of train. All right, now that you've been introduced to the new train engine, it is time to see how fast it goes around my track. And that, of course, means handing it over to my tame racing driver. Now, some say he was printed with no face, and that while flying the Ultimate Collector Series Millennium Falcon, he made the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs. All I know is, he's called the Lego Stig. Alright, the Lego Stig is in there, he's ready to go. Josh is going to demonstrate the uh, procedure to put this thing together. Go ahead, buddy. So, um... He made this come off mm -hmm. the signal, and then he made it so he has enough room to tone this on. Then just put that back on, and then this, it just kind of slide, make sure the horns are facing the way it's supposed to, and just kind of slide it in there, and then you can you have a button that you can push, push it like there, 
Okay, looks like we put the batteries in correctly. Yep. And then it's easy to take it out. And then put this in. And then it's all done. Okay, so you're ready to launch? Yep. Okay, here we go, buddy. got one motor running. If it has both at full speed, it flies off the track. It won't vary in speed up the hills. That's one of the pros that power function has over 9 volt. Okay, so we have the Maersk compartments. There's four trailers. They're all loaded up with uh, two cargo containers each. And let's go ahead and start with, we'll just start with both motors. We'll just crank them both. Okay, well that pretty much wraps up this video of the new mock train engine. It's kind of an, uh, a good alternate, I guess, for this uh, yellow freight train right here. That's the uh, other engine there that is powered by two modern 9 volts. And, of course, this one that's powered by two uh, power function motors. So, pretty good. Now, this obviously is adding to the crowdedness of the train yard. Uh, you see them all lined up here all over the place. And... I even have their most recent mock on this uh, special transport train or truck. So, getting kind of crowded. We'll have to do something about this. I wish I could just rip my uh, walls down and, and add on maybe someday in the future, huh, Josh? Yep. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. Cool. As many comments as I get is uh, everybody's jealous of how much space I have. And yes, I got a lot of space, but I actually wish I had some more. So, that's the way it goes. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's the train oriented video. I might. Uh, get away from trains for a little bit in the meantime but yeah uh-huh right on buddy josh loves the train crashes okay well josh thanks for your help i appreciate it as always and we'll catch you guys next time on the next city update or whatever the heck we're working on next thanks for watching bye